a great visit in LA. Plugged my bike in last night in this outlet and it did not charge at all. When I plugged it in, everything was green. It was saying it was charging, but it didn't charge. So I'm at 64%. I'm gonna try to get out of the LA traffic before it starts getting bad. And then I'm gonna have to charge up much earlier than I had planned. So here goes. Had some fun in LA. It was terrific seeing the Hollywood Electrics crew going on a ride with 19 people, 17 zeros, pretty awesome. Now it's off to Phoenix. And already I have a challenge. So overnight I plugged into my friend's garage just like I did last night. Last night everything worked perfectly. Woke up with 100% charge. This morning woke up with 64% charge just like I pulled in last night. So I did not get any electricity from my friend's garage. That's super frustrating. So that means I'm gonna have to charge for about half an hour. That was unplanned so I'm gonna get in half an hour later than I had anticipated, and I'm already going on a 400 mile day. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. I think it's gonna get pretty hot. So for the first time in a very, very long time, I am getting on a highway going east. Here's LA for you. Welcome to Cal Poly Pomona. Charging up at Cal Poly Pomona and uh, someone came out and you're supposed to have a permit in order to park here. I don't have a permit, I'm just cruising through. And someone came out and said, you know, what are you doing here? And I said, oh, I'm, you know, here visiting the agriculture center because I knew it was an agriculture center. And she said, oh, under what auspices? And so I thought, well, I'm the green roof coordinator at my high school, so I wanted to check it out. And all of a sudden, her, you know, she was about to kick me out basically. And then her face lit up as soon as I said I was doing green roof stuff and I wanted to learn. And she gave me a tour. So instead of getting kicked out and being in a panic about where I was gonna charge, my bike is continuing to charge. It should be almost done. And I got a tour of regenerative agriculture. Bam, regenerative communities are what this is. But regenerative agriculture, um, I have a tour book and she just gave me some really great thoughts as to what I can do with my green roof. So instead of this being a challenging, antagonistic location, it ended up being a very positive, uh, professionally beneficial stop. So I'm super excited about that. Huge solar panels charging up my zero. Had a great charge at Cal Poly. Almost got kicked out. However, I was invited in and I got fully charged. Had a great time here, actually super friendly, really interesting stuff they're doing at Cal Poly Pomona. One of the really interesting things that they do is that the building that they built was designed to work with nature to keep it cool. So uh, it has a thermal mass, there are shades that are plants. In the summertime, when the sun is high, it shades the building. In the wintertime, the leaves are all gone and the sun is lower, so it lets the sunlight in. And uh, that was just such a fortunate stop when it could have been unfortunate. You never know what's gonna happen when you are uh, stopping a lot to charge. I specifically parked my motorcycle in alignment with the sun so my top case shaded the bike and especially the battery. It keeps my battery from overheating because right now it's climbing the 80s and all the zippers are undone in my jacket. 10 a.m. leaving Los Angeles just past Riverside and a nice twisty road. But in the meantime, I got this beautiful view. Now this is a wind farm. Let's go look at this wind turbine farm. Just incredible wind turbines everywhere. On top of the hill. In the middle of the desert. I thought I was charging up. It wasn't, I only have 35% right now and I have Wasted an hour, actually. I know exactly how long I wasted. So I gotta find another charging station nearby so I can move along. Uh, it is 11:46, and uh, I'm still in the LA area on my way to Phoenix, and it's not been uh, a good day so far for charging. So uh, I got a little bit south of here. There's a couple of charge points, so I'll try those out. Made it to the charge point station, but we got a Volt and a Chevy charging up here. Uh, so the Volt is done. I'm going to unplug them and it's going to make a loud noise and I'm at the Justice Center where they put criminals away. Watch this. Oh, that's hot. Really, really hot. Okay, there it is. 
love it. Don't worry. I'm not guilty. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Got to go inside, cool off. It is 100 degrees out. Here's the deal, it's too damn hot. It's over 100 degrees out. Uh, I had my motorcycle parked in this spot right here and I noticed the charge was slowly tapering down, which I think is because my Elcon chargers are even heating up too much and they only put out 2.5 kilowatts. So they don't normally overheat, but they do when they're in the sun and they're black. So uh, I parked in the shade. Hopefully that's gonna help everything cool down. Uh, my supercharger is not working at all. I think that may also be because it's super, super hot. That may be a big, big challenge today. Uh, I am not making hardly any progress and I, got, I have a couple hundred more miles to go. So one problem solving at a time. Okay, it's 2 p.m. and I am still only 160 miles away from where I began. 260 miles to go. And uh, battery temperature exceeded 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it protected itself by uh, clicking off the contactor. So it's charged at 79%. I just need to go 30 miles to get to my next stop, but uh, I'm getting a temperature warning and I don't want to ride it if it's going to overheat. So I need to let it cool and then, um, and then I'm gonna get on and go. I think I calculated I would get in around 11.30 if everything goes perfectly and nothing has gone right at all so far. It's gonna be a long day. Still here at the law offices in uh, somewhere super hot California. Yeah, I went to Applebee's and got two big cups of ice and now I'm just putting it everywhere I can on the battery, uh, on my chargers. I got a bunch of ice right here. Okay, a little more and I'm just Trying to use the laws of thermodynamics to cool everything down. It's too hot right now. I put some on the supercharger. It's melting, made all my bags wet, but hey, if it's wet and cool, then it'll work again. So we'll see how this goes. Ice races, look at that. You can actually see it melt. It's like a, like a hot knife through butter. This is literally what I'm doing. Get some ice from the cup, put it on the charger, Make sure it doesn't fall off the charger. And then when it gets to the fins, they're so hot that it actually just melts right into it. That's kind of cool. It is 109 degrees last time I checked. Feels like 112, that's baloney. Feels like 100 bajillion and... Life of an electric motorcyclist. Come on, it's fun. There you have it. Two large cups of ice from Applebee's. Onto the battery, onto my chargers. I can touch all three chargers and it doesn't feel too hot. I can touch the battery, it feels warm. The temperature still says it's 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too hot, but I'm hoping that as the ice, which has a high heat capacity, touches the metal, which transfers heat and cold very quickly, uh, I'm hoping that that will all cool down very quick. So I'm gonna pack up and get going. It's 2.30 p.m. About three to four hours after I was supposed to leave here. So Indio, California winds. 110 degrees here. If my battery temperature reaches 120, then it'll overheat and stop charging, stop uh, letting me ride. It reached that temperature, it stopped charging at 79%, and uh, it won't go down. I poured two large cups of ice on it. That basically did nothing. So that's it, the trip from Montclair to Seattle, down to LA, ends up in uh, Indio. And uh, I gotta get to Phoenix. So I'm gonna get my bike to Phoenix, hang out with my friend's parents for a little bit, then head over to Austin. And that's the plan. Well, I'm totally bummed that I can't keep going on my motorcycle. I'm glad it happened in Indio, because if it happened anywhere past here, I would have been out of luck. This is basically the last civilization for 200 miles before I get to the Phoenix area. So. If I had gotten one charging station farther, it would have actually been really bad news. So, there's that. 